All right, so this video that I'm putting together is for your keepsake box and working on the measuring. New tool that we're gonna use is a constructor's square. It makes a nice 90 degree. I'm gonna use this to help with measuring. Um, the side that I'm gonna use follows 16th inches, which is pretty impressive. On the other side, it even goes down to the 32nd inch. No reason we need to be that specific. No way. So we're gonna use this to be able to do our measurement. Now, you're getting about a three foot, actually it is a three foot piece of wood. The wood should be five and a half inches in width, and then the three feet in uh, length, that's what we're gonna adjust. So this is our measurements. Um, this is what we have in our document, so I wanna show you that again. And here's how I'm gonna kinda of work through everything. I'm gonna measure first the top, then I'm gonna do the short sides, the long sides, and then the bottom, because it's a weird different measurement, I'm gonna measure it there. We have plenty of extra on this uh, piece of wood in case you make a couple mistakes. As long as we're consistent with our lines, we're gonna be consistent with our measurements when we do our cutting. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna have my sheet here so we can watch or I can see what I'm doing. It's always good to have notes and I'm gonna go ahead and measure through here. So the first piece is going to be eight inches in. So I'm gonna put my ruler right on the edge here. Back this up a little bit so I can see eight inches. And our first cut will be five and a half. I've already measured this. This is already five and a half inches on the dot, so that's good. So I'm gonna go in eight inches, and here is my eight inch mark. I'm gonna make a little dot. And the thing I like about these, these square pieces is it's gonna allow me to make a nice straight line here, right along there. So there's my first line, so that's eight inches. Now the next two are gonna be four inches from in there for my short sides. So I'm gonna lay this down. And I'm gonna make a dash at four inches. And then I'm actually gonna make another dash at eight inches. Again, four plus four is eight. Big brain, be able to figure that out. And it's good to have these be consistent. So I'm gonna put my square on here, right on the dot. There we go. Next is going to be the five and a half inch pieces, the long sides. So these are gonna be five and a half by six, or sorry, six and a half inches, each one of them. They're gonna be six and a half inches. I made that mistake. It's already five and a half inches wide. So six and a half. That's why we check these things as we make the video and not ahead of time. <laughs> I swear I did. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go to six and a half. I'll go to the other side. I have it already set up there. Six and a half is here. And then from, actually, I'm going to make that squared off right away. And then I'll do another six and a half. Ooh, right on a knot. Hopefully that cuts okay. It can sometimes get tricky with the saw, but I think it's a small enough one. It's not gonna be a big deal. And then the last piece, last piece that we have here is gonna be a different size, and that's our bottom. It's gonna be six and a half by four. So to be able to figure out which one's gonna be six and a half and which one's gonna be four, let's see how much space we have left here. We have just over six and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out six and a half, I'm just gonna measure out, in case I need a little extra space, I'm gonna measure out to four, okay? So I'm gonna make a line at four inches. Okay, so I know I have four, now I need six and a half inch that way. Will that work for me? Let's see, how long is this? Five and a half, well that doesn't work, so what do I do now? Well I know that I'm not gonna use that line, so now I'm gonna to have to do six and a half this way. And if I do that, it'll put me right here, right on the edge, just a little bit of space in case we make a mistake. Okay, and this is why we measure and double check. This is what I'm trying to show you here in the video. Now after we have our six and a half, we only need it to be four inches in depth. So I'm gonna actually set 
this piece or the uh, the tr the whatever you call it square right at four inches. So I know I have six and a half inches in width. Now all I need is four inches, and I'm going to need to mark where four inches is going to be, which is right here. So I'm going to make that line there for four inches, and then I'm going to finish that four inch line all the way across. So my piece will be ready to go when we go to cut these things off. Put the square right on that nice line so everything matches up nicely. And there we go. I have all my pieces measured out. Probably good to mark it that this is going to be the bottom. So we remember this is the bottom and this is extra stuff that we don't need. And that's measuring our piece for our, for our keepsake box. Good luck measuring, measure twice, then we can cut once.